Hey everyone, welcome to another digital class at basicgray.com. I'm going to show you how to quickly create this holiday photo card using the Dasher collection. That's available at basicgray.com. And it only takes a few steps, so it's going to be super easy and just about anyone with very minimal Photoshop skills could put this together. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this so it's a little bit out of the way. I'm going to start a new document. And this is going to be a 7 by 5 photo card. So I'm going to change this to inches so I can see. It needs to be 7 inches wide and 5 inches tall. Hit OK. Alright, so that's the size we're working with. Didn't want to do that. <laughs> okay, so that's the size we're working with. Put this little guy again. First thing I'm going to do is drop in the white pattern from the starter kit. I'm just going to drop it straight on there. Doesn't exactly matter where it's at. It's only going to be showing the very bottom of the card. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is drop in this banner and also the banner text. And I'm going to slide this one up and select the banner so they're both selected. You can tell they're both selected because they're both highlighted over in the layers palette. I'm going to come up to align and vertical centers and then they move just a little bit they just kind of line up a little bit better. I'm going to slide this over and there you can see some text over there. This banner is going to go at the bottom but we need to rotate the banner so I'm going to come over here where there's a center my cursor changes to the rotating cursor. And I'm just going to rotate it just a little bit so what's showing is um, starting and ending on each horizontal side about evenly. Hit the green check mark. Okay, so now I'm just going to select just the text and I'm just going to bring it down using my arrow keys just so they're a little bit, it's a little bit closer. Okay. All right, with that layer selected, I'm going to go ahead and make it white. You won't be able to see it right now because it's on the white background, but once you get the photo on there, you'll be able to see it. I'm going to come to the Layers palette and I'm going to click on Lock Transparent Pixels. And then I'm going to do Shift Delete or Backspace. And I'm going to fill with white. I'll say OK. All right, now it's time to bring in our photo. So I'm going to click and drag and drop it up into the document. And we're going to shift it up quite a ways. And then move it to just behind the banners. Okay, now we can move these banners down. We want them about right there. And we'll move, slide the photo down so that it's just touching the lowest point of the top of the banners. Okay, now the next part is the probably the most trickiest part. Everything else is pretty straightforward, but we're going to take the elliptical marquee tool and in your program, if it doesn't show the elliptical marquee tool, you just click and hold and it'll bring out the fly, the fly out menu and you can then select the elliptical marquee tool. Okay, now we're going to be drawing a shape drawing the elliptical shape and we want it to kind of follow the curve of those banners. Oh, I messed up. Start drawing again. We want it to follow the curve of those banners and you can start drawing the, the circle or the elliptical, the lips shape and then hold down the space bar key and that allows you to make the ellipse larger but uh, while you're moving it. Or rather, you'll move it without having to, without a sizing. Okay, so I'm just getting getting it to a good size here. Okay, that looks about right. Now I'm going to come up to the select menu and do select inverse, and now it's just selecting everything below the banner. So I'll come up to the photo layer. I'll hit delete and it got rid of everything below the banner. Okay, one of the last things we're going to do before we add our shadows, so I'm just going to drag on this 2010 circle sticker. 
I'm going to put it on top of the banners. And using the move tool, I'm just going to bring it down here and put it pretty much centered right over the that little corner. Okay, now we're going to add some really subtle shadows. With the 2010 layer selected, I'm going to double click on low up in the effects palette. And then I'll come down here and click on the FX icon so that I can adjust the size and distance and opacity of that shadow. I'm going to change the size to 10. And I'll change the distance to 5. And the opacity to 40. Okay, and now I can come over here and right click on that layer, copy layer style, and then on the banner, I can, <clears throat> excuse me, I can paste the layer style. There we go. And our card is finished. So pretty easy card, goes together really quickly. And the only thing you would have to do is have this printed out on uh, five by seven photo paper or there are some great online resources for that, some different online stores and shops that you can send your photo card to and they'll print it up for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.